Oh, man. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, well, I was just thinking of making a YouTube channel. Or, like, putting effort into it and making reviews and, like, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, so what's the problem? Yeah, but I wanted to have, like, an iconic intro, you know? But I could, just couldn't think of a phrase to say. Well, surely there's something. What about just... Hey all, Matt here. Surely nobody's taken that. Hey all, Scott here. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, what about... Oh, you know how YouTubers always say, hey guys? What if you make a joke about how, like, nobody's watching your content and just say, hey guy? Nobody could have come up with that. Hey guy, welcome back to I Don't Need a Haircut, You oh, Need a Haircut. Are you kidding me? Hey, you could go even simpler, just, hi there, how's it going? That's so specific, no one could have come up with Hey that. there, how's it going? God damn it! Well, forget it, I'll just say hi there or something. Yeah, fine, sure, whatever, I don't care. Hi there, I'm Laramlab, and I've been wanting to make video essay review type content on my channel for a while now, so I figured I should start with the gaming console that started it all, the Nintendo 64. That's right, despite my age, the 64 was still my first console, thanks to my mother holding onto it for ages. I discovered this incredible machine because my best friend's little brother leaned on a cupboard when we were really young. I suppose I would have found it eventually otherwise, but it's still a funny story. Now my mother had four games for the console, and my friend recently gave me three more, being Perfect Dark, whatever this is, and... A racing game? Yeah, out of those three, the only one I've played so far is Perfect Dark. And I only played that because I couldn't find my copy of Goldeneye and I figured that'd be the next best thing. So, what the hell, why not play these two games to start off the series? It'll give me a chance to play new games and make videos about them. We'll start with... Uh, no, I'll save that for later, actually. What about this? Uh, well, I'm not gonna play something I don't know the name of. Even the script doesn't know what to call it. Well, that leaves is... <sighs> Fine. Since I've never played it before, I'll record my first time playing it. Now, I don't have a capture card yet because I'm saving for a computer, so you have to forgive the poor camera quality. After an opening cinematic, we're greeted to our menu with plenty of options like Quick Play, Grand Prix, Time Attack, and Multiplayer. Since I wasn't recording for long, I decided to just go with Quick Play. In terms of its gameplay, there isn't much to go over actually, it's just a simple arcadey racing game. A few days after initially recording this gameplay, I played the multiplayer at a friend's house. And I have to say, that's probably the most fun you get out of this game. In single player, there isn't really much replay value apart from just trying to get a best time. And that was an off put for me since I don't really like racing games, so just playing one over and over again doesn't really appeal to me. In terms of the controls, the game was actually fun to play. I noticed that the cars took a while to actually turn, which meant I crashed into walls a lot. And that was something that my friends noticed while we played the multiplayer as well. So that was certainly a racing game. Outside of Mario Kart, I'm not really a fan of racing games, especially ones with just generic cars. They all seem so repetitive to me, so I didn't really think I'd enjoy this much. From what I played though, it seemed pretty fun. It was a great multiplayer experience, and I don't have many multiplayer 64 games, so that's great for me. Overall, this game was fun, but unless I'm playing with others, it's not enough to stop me from getting bored and turning it off. I wonder where I've heard that before. God, I hate this game. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me.